Naturally, with great power comes great responsibility. Invoking a method that doesn't exist is not usually a good idea. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an array similar to the last one, but this time I've swapped out the dealer object for a string. Now let's see what happens when we call the method play. No compiler errors, so far so good, and we press run. Uh-oh. Of course, we knew that was going to happen, because nsString obviously has no method called play. Let's take a look at what this error says. So we'll scroll up to the top of the console, and it says, unrecognized selector sent to instance, and then there's a string of numbers. You've probably seen an error like this before, but you may not have realized that that word selector comes from Objective-C. In Objective-C, selector is another name for method. So when you see this unrecognized selector sent to instance, start debugging by investigating objects with the type ID. It's possible that the class of the offending object is not what you think it is at runtime. And to defend your code against the perils of ID, you can also use introspection. You can ask if the object at hand responds to the selector in question. 